Okay. Look good? Yeah, you're gonna love it. Hey, what's up guys? Today we are taking a break from some of our big projects around here, like rebuilding the shed. In fact, it's probably the last project we'll do in the shed before we totally rebuild it. Um, we've been having some owls hang around lately, and I think we've had barn owls and maybe a great horned owl, and we want to kind of make a place for them to stay permanently to help us control some of the mice because the mice and the gophers are just more than we could deal with. The other day, we actually were walking around and we found an owl pellet. You know, owl pellets, they, they barf up the food that they can't eat, like the bones and the fur. So we actually found one of those and uh, earlier this morning we kind of dissected it. Right there. Is that it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Where does it match? So, it's this one, I think. It is. Nice. That was it. That is the pelvic bone of a shrew. Oh, good job, Ellie. That's nice. a dental teeth one, right? That's a, look at that tooth. Oh, 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 oh. oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's oh. the big daddy. Oh, there's the big boy. Guys, big daddy coming. Watch it. No. Rodent. Now I know what a rodent is. This is so creepy, but it's so cool. The kids had a blast dissecting the owl pellets, though. They found skulls and jaw bones and femurs and scapulas. And every time they found a new bone, it was like a big celebration. So... That was a pretty neat part. So hopefully we bring in the owls and we get some more of that, get some more owl pellets, and they help us keep the, the pest population down. Kind of like uh, kind of like our new barn cat's doing. So, all right, let's do it. Oh, like that. Cut it up. Looks like you really know what you're doing here. It's all the pants. Clearly you've done this before. <laughs> well, we're, we're making pretty good progress, but we made one mistake. We put the roof on before putting this on, and now I have no ways of getting a nail gun in there to attach it. So we're gonna try a screw and impact and see if we can get in there and pop the screw through. Yep, it's very strong. Cool. All right, so not how you would draw it up, but uh, Alright, I think we're finished and I think it came out pretty good and it was actually pretty fun to do. A nice break from our normal routine. One thing we did is we put the hole up really high. Everything we read online said make it at least 16 inches otherwise the baby owls can actually jump out and not survive. Um, we put this little perch up here not so much for the mom owl but for the babies for when they get older they could come get ready to fly up here before they actually take off and we painted it white. It did look good with the raw wood, but we liked it better white because now, not only does it have protection from the elements with the paint, but it also, more importantly, matches the chicken coop and the goat pen, which is of the most importance if you ask this one, yes. So we've had this big, long pole sitting around here on the property. We got poles all over this property, but this one's been sitting here forever. I think it'll be perfect to put the owl house up on. I guess it's supposed to be about 15 feet tall. So we're gonna cut this guy to about 
19 bury it in the ground, concrete it, and put it up. all filled with concrete. That's crazy. I think it's going to be too heavy to put up. I thought it was just filled with mud. All right, original plan was to put this in concrete somewhere up there, but since it weighs about 150 pounds, that's not going to happen. So here's plan B. Definitely a plan B. We have this old structure over here that we're going to turn into some kind of garage someday. For now, it's just got a bunch of junk in it. Well, we think we're just gonna go ahead and attach it to that pole right there on the edge of the structure. We don't plan on flipping this into anything else anytime soon. So maybe we get baby owls this spring and next spring we'll relocate it. What do you think, Andre? <laughs> he doesn't love it. Now the hard part, we're gonna go get it up there and I gotta stand on top of a ladder, which I'm kind of nervous about, but uh, <laughs> dun, 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 we're gonna do it. Wow, so. yeah. that's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. Like, it's gonna be crazy. I actually show them the ladder. It's all the way over there. All the way right there. I don't know if you could, guys could see it, but it's all the way over there and people yeah. have to do that. They can see it. All right, let's do it. Let's put it up. We're good? Hey, thanks for watching our owl box video. Hopefully we do get those baby owls this spring. If we do, we'll be sure to record something and uh, post a video, so make sure you check back. Special thanks to my buddy Cannon for helping me out today. Uh, Cannon, tell him what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe. And the bell button. And the bell button, all right. And subscribe to Walter Murky Ranch right here. Yeah, what he said. See you guys. Have a good day. Bye. See ya.